And I'm here with a tutorial on how to reduce Windows 10 processes to Windows 7 like performance. Today's date is June 9th, 2018. Let us begin. I want you to first go to the website here, ONO Software. I can't recommend them enough. Go here, download the ONO Shutup 10. It's free. I want you to start it up and I want you to go to the actions, apply only recommended settings, hit OK. If it prompts you to reboot your PC, go ahead and do so. Now I want you to go to the next step. I want you to open up services. I want you to type in the search box services and I want you to disable and set the manual the following services. Stop and disable this router service here. Stop and disable the diagnostic tracking service. Stop and disable Superfetch. Stop and disable Windows Search. This service is fairly new. I don't know if it came in the 1709 or 1703 updates, but I've not had a need for it. I've disabled it for several months. I have not seen any ill effects while gaming or using the internet. I want you to stop and set to manual any Adobe services that you may use. I want you to stop and set to manual any future mark services, which is associated with 3D Suite. Stop and set to manual EA's Origin Client Service and EA Origin's Web Helper Service. Stop and set to manual Punk Buster Services, which is used for games like Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. You want to set this to manual. The only caveat is that when you use Punk Buster and you play those games, you're going to have to manually enable it. Or else, as you will find out, when you try to enter into a server, you're going to get kicked with, uh, with an error indicating that the Punk Buster service is not working or it's, it's, it's disabled or something to that effect. So you just have to manually enable it. I want you to open up your defragmenter. You go into your search box, type in defragmenter. And once you type it up, I want you to disable that service. It's going to be enabled. You're going to just turn it off. You don't need it running in the background. Once you do that, you're going to go to the next step. The next step will reduce the number of SVC hosts found in the Details tab of Task Manager. This tweak involves a registry edit. If you look now, you should see many SVC hosts listed in the Details tab of Task Manager. Upon changing the hexadecimal for the D word, SVC hosts split threshold in KB and rebooting the PC, the number of SVC hosts should be reduced, thus reducing the total number of processes found under the CPU portion of the performance tab of Task Manager. Having researched this online, I found numerous websites, forums, and articles discussing how to revert SVC hosts back to its Win7-like behavior. Please follow the instructions as to how to make this change. You want to open up your calculator. Now, I want you to type in the search box regedit. That's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Right-click on it and open it with admin privileges. Go to computer, local machine, system, current, control set, and control. Found within the control key, you're going to find a D word called SVC host split threshold in KB. This normally has a default hexadecimal value of 380,000. If it does not, I would like for you to write down what that value is and keep it as a mental note if you want to undo the change. Now, here's what you're going to have to do, and this is where the calculator comes into play. You're going to go to your search box and type in about, A-B-O-U-T. Find the information that says installed RAM. Take note of how much RAM you have installed in your PC. You're going to take that amount, and I'm just using this as an example here. If I have eight gigabytes of RAM, I'm typing eight times 1,024 times 1,024, and that's going to spit out a value that you see here, and I'll do it here. Eight times 1,024 times 1024. You're going to type that value in here as the new hexadecimal value for this here. You're going to hit OK and you're going to reboot your PC. Now, once you're back to desktop, I want you to take note of your processes. I want you to do a before and after. Take note 
of your processes now, it should drop. I have a lot of different apps opened up and I'm only at 77 processes with 1,020, 25 threads. This is a huge reduction from what I had before. This has reduced my processes and threads so much that gaming is a lot smoother. It uh, doesn't necessarily give me more frame rates, but it makes the gameplay experience a lot more enjoyable. And I wanted you to know about this. I want to share this with you. There's no point in keeping this a secret. Once I saw this reduction in processes and I was able to get a much more enjoyable gameplay experience, it helped me greatly. Now, there's only one extra step I want you to do, and that is I want you to open up the command prompt CMD with admin privileges. You want to type in win capital S-A-T dot E-X-E space formal space dash restart clean. This is the Windows system assessment tool. This was well known in Windows 7. However, in Windows 10, it's not fully integrated as far as having a graphics user interface, but it's still there. Before you run WinSat, you want to reboot your PC first. Type resource monitor in the search box, tab over the disk, monitor disk activity. Let it run for 10 minutes straight without interruption. Just walk away from your PC and come back 10 minutes later. You should see no more than 10 or so processes under the disk activity portion or five or less processes under the process with disk activity portion. Now open CMD, run as administrator, type winsat.exe space formal space dash restart space clean. Let it run. When finished, reboot your PC. I do thank you for your time. Have a nice day.